Hello everyone and welcome to Message from Your Person. This is one of my favorite readings to do. Um, I appreciate being able to channel messages for whoever needs to hear it, okay? So this is not for a specific sign, specific zodiac. It's for whoever finds it and connect to it. This, these are my favorite types of reading. So you guys have been loving them. Uh, I appreciate your messages, the donations, the likes, the subscribes. So yeah, I'm, I'm in a great mood. I feel the vibe is gonna be good tonight. Really excited. I'm a couple days away from moving and uh, the energy has been intense and it feels really good to sit down and bring you guys this little reading so thank you for the love and support make sure to like this video this is the best way to support me let's pick another card so we're looking at messages from your person let's see what comes out tonight okay so we have the high priestess and the lover's card i told you this is going to be a good one i had a nice feeling starting tonight so there are two people who are definitely uh, connected intuitively, who are still in love with each other, thinking about each other, dreaming about each other. Seeing the high priestess with the lover's card, to me, there could be definitely separation between two people. Um, two people that feel like it's weird because there's this feeling of we are a mirror of each other. This is my person. I'm hearing for once in my life. I met someone who is just like me, who understand me, who I can be transparent with. I feel like I'm, I'm feeling seen. I'm feeling heard and it feels good. But also with the high priestess, there's this kind of contradiction here. I don't know why. We'll see what the reading has to say. This is a really interesting pair. Uh, really interesting duo of Major Arcana. I'm excited for this one. Definitely excited for this one. I feel like there's this is a story of two people fantasizing about each other, dreaming about each other, wanting to reunite. But I do feel there is a blockage. Um, again, I feel a good energy. I feel a good vibe. I don't know why. I want to smile right now. I've been having a good feeling about this reading even before I started. So let's see what the tarot has to say. What messages my guys want you to hear right now. Okay, we're going to start with these two cards. We have the world and the king of cups. Someone will bring the best out of you the best version of yourself. This is what I'm hearing. This is really particular. So I do feel like it could have been last year, a while back. There's been this situation where it was overwhelming. I feel like uh, meeting this person, communicating with that person felt a little intense. It felt like, again, for once in my life, I think I found my match. I think I found my person. And the universe had other plans for the two of you with the world card. This relationship ended or it energetically, it feels like it ended, but no. Um, I do feel like it was opening the door for a brand new beginning. So definitely with the world card as first energy, my feelings were right about there's some kind of ending some kind of contradiction like we really love each other we want to be together you're bringing the best out of me with the king of cups but why why is there an ending why is there a separation is it because you are not living uh in the same country is it because there's other people involved i don't know you know in the french version of the lover's card it's about a choice that's why it's called l'amoureux meaning the lover and not the lover so someone could have had a choice that needed to be made okay i feel like <sighs> there could have been a feeling of I owe something to someone, but now I met this person and they changed everything for me. Um, I do feel like this person 
brought something out of you. Yeah, we have the page of wands here, okay? So the communication is about to happen. Maybe it happened already, but you know what? I do feel like there was someone who wrote an email and never sent it. They were writing it for, you know, maybe hours, wanting everything to be perfect, wanting every word to sound perfect, not being sure uh, if what they had to say uh, made any sense, if it would be triggering the other person, if it felt too much. The, there's someone who is kind of scared of being clingy and they deleted the email. Literally, they ended, they, they just deleted it. Um, and I don't know why. Is it because, again, they felt like they owed something to another person? Maybe they are in a relationship. Maybe they really need to close a chapter of some kind of love story. But at the end of the day, someone is falling asleep every night thinking about another person. But I do feel like there is some things, some stories, some relationship that needs to be dealt with for some reason. Uh, this is powerful freaking energy. Uh, the page of wands, look how the page look at this piece of wood. Look at how he looks at the wands. He's like, oh my God, there is so many possibilities. So I'm seeing this energy, especially seeing the high priestess. This is someone who is daydreaming about the other person. Just the thought of getting coffee together, holding their hand, uh, meeting them in the random place. Just the thought of being close to this person is like really exciting. It's like a fantasy that it, it never ends. It's always there. So there could have been, you know, a long term separation between maybe two twin flames, definitely two soulmates. Uh, because of this pair here, I know this is a soul connection. I don't know if the timing was right. I don't know if the timing was right because the world card as first energy, we'll see. Tell me more. I'm asking my guides to tell me what I need to hear. Who am I connecting with? Who am I connecting with? Right now, I could be connecting with a nerd sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I could be connecting with a water sign. Oh my God. Okay, definitely. There's someone, again, this email, I see it intuitively, intuitively, sorry, so clearly in my mind. Someone wrote an email and it was easier to just delete it. They felt like what they had to say could be triggering the other person. It could be taken the wrong way it could hurt someone i don't know who is it a third party is it because they felt like i should just not send this email there is going to be something else coming in but right now there's there's a nerd sign that feels like they are in the unknown they don't know what's happening with the moon card it's like i know you still think about me i know you feel this energy, but why am I in the dark about who are we? What is this? I know it's something. I know it's worth it. I know it matters. And I'm not crazy. I know that you felt these feelings. I felt them too. But why am I in the unknown? Why is there so many things left unsaid? Maybe lies. There's something that needs clarity. There's a conversation that needs to happen and it will happen seeing the eight of wands, okay? Um, it feels intense. It feels intense. And I feel like, again, I don't know if it's you or this person. I, I, They don't know. They don't know how to tell you. They don't know how to tell you because they are scared to hurt someone else's feeling. I do feel like there's another person involved. Um, or maybe they feel like you are involved with another person, okay? And I don't want to make this reading about a third party. This is not my intention. And it's like, I want to focus on the energy between you and this person. I feel it's strong and it's worth exploring. It's worth digging in. It feels really intense, definitely intense. So 
There is something about the way this person writes, the way this person expressed themselves, maybe their voice. Um, I feel like it's something maybe they told you before. Like, there's something about the way you talk to me. There's something about your voice. There's something about us that feels so fluid, so good, so natural. I feel like I always known you. And again, this is a once in a lifetime type of energy. So maybe you were involved in the past. Maybe you were in a long term relationship. Maybe you are seeing someone right now. But this is something else. You both feel this way. You both feel like this is a once in a lifetime thing. And you both feel, I do feel it energetically, that if you don't make the first move, maybe this is going to be lost forever and it feels scary. And that's why the moon card is here. I do sometimes associate the moon card with fear because we are all scared of the unknown as humans. But this is how we live. We ride the wave of the unknown every day as, human, as humans. Not only in relationship, but just being on planet Earth, man. It's like we don't know what's going to happen in the next day. So definitely I'm connecting with someone's energy that they have no idea what the other person is doing right now. It's killing you. It's driving you crazy. It's like, I want to know what you're doing. I want to know... Uh, what music you're listening to, what movies you're watching. I want to know how you're doing. It's driving me insane to not know. It's driving me insane to, you know, be in the unknown uh, and having no freaking idea who you're with, what are you doing, and how you're feeling. Um, because seeing the King of Cups, you both care about each other. It's not about lust necessarily. It's not just focus on that. It's not just focus on desire. You really care about how this person is feeling. They really care about how you're doing. Um, this is an intense, intense relationship. We have the Four of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the King of Swords. Listen, two people being in their head a lot about what is the next step? What is happening? Why isn't that person reaching out? Why did you left me? Uh, why have we been, you know, silenced for so long? We lost so much time. We lost so much freaking time. Um, and there's this feeling of, it's not that I'm, it's not that you're mad at each other, but there's a lot of frustration. And it's like, if I could just talk to you, have this conversation without any external thing, uh, impacting, you know, this or like changing the way you feel about me. It's like, I wish we were both alone for two seconds. And I wish that we had this kind of secret, secret garden, secret space that we could just communicate with each other. Somebody is scared to make the first move. Somebody feels like, I don't know, maybe there's a feeling of betrayal, a feeling of... I don't know how I can tell the whole truth right now. Uh, I need to be physically with you. There is a huge, huge need to be physically together because you both, you're both in your head completely about this. It feels like it's like up in the air. We don't really know what's happening. I do feel like this is about two people who probably never met in person. Uh, a lot of fantasy, a lot of daydreaming, a lot of speculation, but not a lot of action in the real world, okay? But I do feel like there could be an earth sign involved uh, or someone with a Taurus moon, Capricorn moon, Virgo moon. That could be some, it's coming out to me, definitely like uh, an earth placement moon earth placement but it doesn't have to i'm just intuitively feeling like if this is you or this is your person there could be an important message for you here what do we have here the king of swords okay so someone is ready to tell the truth someone is ready to speak their mind okay this is how they feel <laughs> this is what they're thinking they're like i'm ready to do this i'm ready to send this email i'm ready to uh, send that text, send that DM, but do they have the courage, okay? Because this is their intention. This is what they want to do. This is what they dream and think about. The swords are the nervous system, the brain, what we're thinking about. But when it comes to action, okay, the sun is here. So really positive energy, okay? 
Uh, by the way, I'm using the Tahoe de Marseille, one of the most beautiful that like, ever created, in my opinion. Just, just putting it out there. So with the Sun card, uh, especially on top of the Eight of Wands here, I do feel like there is going to be, God, this feeling of happiness, of literally falling in love all over again. And you know when I said that there's something about this person and how they talk, how they communicate? I don't know if you sing, if you're a singer, I don't know if your person is a singer. There is something definitely about creativity that is really important being an artist and using your voice to maybe, there's something about the voice, there's something about the words uh, did they ever write you a poem? Did they ever write you a letter? There is something really important when it comes to the kind of words you're using. I feel like you both connect with that. Um, it, it, it lights a fire in them, this person that you're thinking about. When they used to read your messages, when they heard your voice, it was... Uh, I'm hearing the word erotic. I don't know why I have to say it. It was really erotic to them and it, it kind of lighted up something inside them. There's something incredibly important about the words. It, maybe that means something to someone. It's something I have to say, okay? So there's going to be a reunion with the Sun card, definitely a reunion. And I feel like they are the one who are going to make the first step. There's definitely someone in this pair, in this, uh, you know, between the two soulmates that know, you know, their ego gets in the way, their mind gets in the way, and they're like, there's no way I'm going to make the first move. There's no way I'm doing it. I don't want to be clingy. I don't want to annoy this person. I don't know what they're doing right now. So I'm going to shut up. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to do my thing. And it's going to mean a lot to me when they come back to me, when they finally open up. But there's someone waiting on the other person. There's someone who is like the patience is out of this world. I don't know how you do it. The self-control uh, is out of this world. And we have, we have the Knight of Pentacles. I was looking at the Knight of Pentacles saying that. The self-control and the patience, again, okay, this is de definitely confirming what I was feeling. It's out of this world. You deserve literally a trophy for being so patient. I don't know how you do it. Uh, I'm not the most patient, you know. Anyway, it's not about me, but it's like, I am so fed up of waiting. I just need an answer. I just want this one message. There's someone who is desperately... And I'm not saying that in a negative way. Someone who's desperately waiting for the other person to finally speak up. It's been scary to be in the unknown. It's, be, it's, it's been scary to feel like I'm probably going to have to move on because I don't know what they're doing. Um, this is such... Honestly, this is a, a deeply romantic connection. Like... I, I, I can see in my mind two people fantasizing about meeting each other like randomly, traveling, maybe going in a bar, uh, someone is sitting and the other person walks in and there's this feeling of this is just, just the thought of seeing them, being close to them, saying hi to them, looking into their eyes is erotic. It's like it's intense. It's beautiful. It's like a dream come true. And I don't know why the word erotic keeps coming out um, because it's not the theme of this reading, but there is something about two people being so sensual, sexual together, and it feels good. It feels uh, powerful. I do feel like there is a lot of fantasizing. Like definitely you're both incredibly turned on by each other. And it's not because there's no... Uh, communication right now that there is no fantasizing like trust me we have the four of cups and we have the six of cups so someone is coming from an energy of being unavailable like this is not the time it's not the right time to send this email it's not the right time to communicate going through an energy of i want to heal what happened between 
the two of us. I want you to finally know how I'm feeling. And you know what? I'm going to take a leap of faith. I'm going to do it. I might... I do feel, I don't know why, I feel like someone might get hurt. I do feel like someone is going to get hurt, but it's not about the two of you. It's someone in the external. Someone outside of this relationship is like uh, either in love with you, in, in love with them. But at the end of the day, there is no way you two are staying apart. It's just not possible there is this sacred connection and it's like if you don't act on it it's gonna you're both gonna go crazy literally you're both in your mind completely about that we have the knight of of swords i'm sorry again so this feeling of you know what i'm taking action definitely but i do feel like it's been a while that this person is contemplating the idea of an email and i don't want i don't know why it's really about an email <laughs> i f i see it so clearly someone wrote an email and deleted it and they spent a lot of freaking time writing the shit trust me it was like i wanted to sound perfect i almost wanted to rhyme i know it sounds crazy but again there's something really important about the words about the communication so also kind of confirms to me as a reader that yeah you probably never met this person in real life maybe once but uh and maybe you were supposed to but it never happened there was a lot of talk about it a lot of fantasizing and you or them both definitely both created this type of fantasy about meeting each other and how intense it would be how uh again erotic it would be how life-changing it would be okay we have the devil at the bottom of the deck i'm not surprised the devil is showing up after i use the word erotic maybe 20 times in that freaking reading the devil if you know me a little bit as a reader is one of my favorite card favorite energy uh i'm so annoyed with people not annoyed i'm just a little bit done with people uh, being scared of that energy because tarot shouldn't be about religion. Uh, it's definitely about how we are allowed to want pleasure, how we are allowed to have desires. This is your birthright as a human being. So when I see the devil card in these types of reading, it's kind of a reminder. It's like, babe, you're allowed to have desires. Maybe you feel bad. Uh, but there is definitely something about the two of you wanting to be together physically. This is Capricorn energy, Earth energy, okay? So we're thinking about, you know, the real world being together, uh, touching each other, smelling each other, enjoying music, art together, watching a movie together, kissing each other, and so on and so on. I love the devil energy when it comes to love reading. I don't associate the devil with codependency, if I see it in a reverse, sometimes, yeah, but seeing the sun here, uh, the lover's card, and how this relationship is like, definitely about two people who were, they were definitely meant to meet each other, but it's not about a reason. It's not about a lesson that needed to be learned. It's about you two are supposed to be together in the real world, okay? It feels unfair right now because of this moon energy, because of there's so much uncertainty. But the sun came here for a reason. The sun came out to reassure you. Like, yeah, yeah, you're not going to be in this fantasizing energy for long, my love, okay? There's going to be... A moment when you can finally touch them, tell them how you feel. A moment that you're just the two, you know, two of you together and nothing else in the world matter in that instant. And this is really powerful. I have goosebumps saying that. I know someone is going to go through that. I know that someone definitely is connecting to what I'm saying. Uh, let's pick a couple of cards from the Moon Baby Tarot. I want to pick three cards. I want to see what is the outcome, not the potential outcome. I want to know what these two soulmates, these lovers, 
need to know. I know this reading is called messages from your person. And you know what? I do feel like the, there's two people who are going to be watching that who are connecting together. It's so weird what I'm feeling right now. Um, I wish you could feel it, guys. I know some of you do. I know my intuitive people out there uh, feel it. Okay, let me shut up. We have the Four of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. So definitely there is still going to be a lot of anxiety connected to this relationship. It's not an easy connection. It feels like it feels like this person came into your life and it was a weird timing. You don't know what the hell the universe wanted to do with it. You're like, why it, did it all happen? Um, with the Seven of Cups, again, I feel like there could be other people involved. There's going to be a lot of freaking emails written and they're, they're going to be deleted, okay? Definitely, I feel like... It's not an easy situation because you're both in your head about this. But at the end of the day, when you both communicate, I feel like you are on the same level, okay? Um, with the Eight of Swords, I feel like, again, it's all in your head. It's all in your head, creating stories that might not be true. Like, are they in love with someone else? Am I not enough for them? Is it because of the way I look? Is it something I said? It's not about that. And the Seven of Cups to me, definitely there is the confirmation here of the two of you daydreaming about each other. I feel like this is the in-between energy, okay? I definitely need three other cards. So this is a slow-moving energy. I don't feel like you're going to wake up tomorrow morning and have a message from them. If you do... Babe, good for you. There is something about the timing that needs to be right. There is conversation that needs to happen. And I feel like your person is waiting for some type of sign. I don't know why. They're waiting for a sign. They're waiting for the good moment. So, you know, this email that I keep seeing, focusing on, uh, it's important. That's why I keep bringing it up. So, I feel like your person can, you know, maybe they were drunk, drunk one night and they wrote an email, they deleted it. Another night it felt, you know, an impulse. They thought about you. They had this dream about you, but it wasn't the right timing. They are really particular uh, in how they want this to happen, how they want this new beginning to happen with you. Um, they're taking this really seriously. And I don't know if you know that, because again, I think you are in the moon energy of not knowing what the hell is happening with them. This person, they want to sound perfect. They want to look perfect. They actually care a lot about how you perceive them, what you think about them, how you feel about this whole situation. Maybe they were a little bit selfish in the past. Maybe there was some miscommunication with this person. They care. They really care about you, your essence, your soul. Again, it's not just a story of I want to, you know, uh, have this one night thing with them. Uh, it's about love. It's about love. It's about reuniting with the person that you feel like it's a once in a lifetime thing. Yeah, three of cups. High Priestess and the Seven of Pentacles. So with the Three of Cups in the reverse, this person is going to probably end a third party. You know what? I feel like they are already, they already ended some type of relationship on their side. Dreaming about you, thinking about you, fantasizing about you for a long freaking time has been too much. It's been literally a weight on their mind, on their soul. And they had to let go of someone. Maybe broke someone's heart. Uh, I'm not saying they were involved. Maybe they were. But I do feel like they realized that this person will never be you. And it was a shock to them. I think that they're definitely taking the time to heal. Taking the time again to find the good words to reach out. 
this person never stopped loving you. This person is highly intuitive and they absolutely know that you're also thinking about them, dreaming about them and manifesting this reunion. I think that they know, they definitely know that when they send this email, when they send this message, when they reach out, you will be happy. You will be in the sun energy, in the lover's energy. And finally uh, feeling like, okay, it wasn't in my head. This was real, okay? This is a real connection. Um, this is two soulmates reuniting in the end, definitely. But the road to get there is... <laughs> Is everything but easy. Uh, hang out, hang in, you know, hang in there. I do feel like at the end of the day, it's a real soulmate connection. There is no way around it. There is no third party that could change that. At the end of the day, it's like this person knows that if they don't meet you, if they don't at least try um, it's never going to come back. It's once in a lifetime. It's a one time opportunity, uh, to get this exact feeling. Okay. Um, it feels like I have to tell you to hang in there, hang in there. Um, but yeah, again, I'm connecting with someone who is in the moon energy, who has no freaking idea what is going on. You have to move on with your hot life. You feel like you have to uh, focus on work you have to focus on yourself uh you're asking yourself why why the hell did it happen this way like it makes no sense that i'm still waiting on this person it makes a lot of sense because they're actually waiting also um and i do absolutely feel like they're going to be the one initiating this new conversation but it's going to happen when they're ready when the timing is right Okay, and when they're finally able to get out of their head a little bit um, and get out of this fear energy, because there's a lot of fear, a lot of fear. Okay, I love you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Uh, thank you for being patient with me because I don't post as often since I'm moving in a couple days. Uh, literally leaving Montreal and moving in my, my first house. Uh, so it's a lot, but it, it felt really good to bring you this message. And for anyone who watch, uh, likes the videos, watch till the end, send donations, send messages. I just want to say I am sending you a huge hug, sending you all my best vibes. And we'll connect really soon. Okay, bye guys.